now let us discuss about introduction to routing algorithms or types of routing algorithms the major task of a router is to transmit the packets from source router to destination router this routing algorithms are mainly useful in network layer we know that in a graph we may have different paths different routes in order to travel from source router to the destination router here the major task of a routing algorithm or router is to choose the best path best path means shortest path that means least cost path so the major task of router is to choose the best path to travel from source router to destination router here mainly we have two types of routing algorithms the first one is non adaptive routing algorithm second one is adaptive routing algorithms so first let us discuss about uh, non adaptive routing algorithms non adaptive routing algorithms can also be called as static routing algorithm here uh, in non uh, adaptive routing algorithms we don't use any routing protocol here it is the responsibility of network administrator to configure that routing table every router contains a routing table so now the network administrator has to enter the routing information in the routing table so the network administrator will manually enters the data in routing table let we have a graph like this so this graph contains five routers r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 let our main aim is Uh, let source router is r1 destination router is r3 so here our aim is to transmit a packet from the source router r1 to the destination router r3 let us assume that network administrator has configured the routing table with the help of this router so with the help of r2 only we can transmit the packet from source router to the destination router network administrator has entered the details like this okay so r1 has to transmit a packet to the r2 so in turn r2 transmits the packet to the r3 so let us assume that this link fails due to some problem this link is broken so now here the problem is we are not using any routing protocols so whenever the a link fails then the router can't make any dynamic decisions router can't transmit the packet in another way here we have another way uh, r1 can transmit the packet to r4 in turn r4 to r5 r5 to r3 but here that information router can't make any dynamic decisions here so now we have to take Uh, the help of network administrator so now it is the duty of network administrator to configure this route also so that means to enter this information also in the routing table so every time so 24 by 7 we have to take network administrator support so whenever whenever a link fails or let us assume that there is a too much of traffic in this path there is a too much of traffic in this path then the uh, router can't take any dynamic decisions let us assume that in this route we don't have uh, uh, any um, uh, traffic so we have less traffic in this route so router can't make any decision so why because this path information is not configured in the routing table okay so here in the olden days we uses non adaptive the name itself specifies the meaning so even though the link fails or even though there is a too much of traffic in one path 
the router can't adapt to to the decision so router can't make any decision on its own so now we have to take the help of the network administrator so network administrator now can enter another path information in the routing table so after entering that information in the routing table now via this path we can travel okay so this is about non adaptive routing algorithm now let us see about adaptive routing algorithm adaptive routing algorithm can also be called as dynamic routing algorithm let us assume that here our aim is to transmit a packet from source router r1 to destination router r3 but assumes that this link is broken but in dynamic routing algorithms we will use some routing protocols we have different routing protocols like we have rip routing information protocol this is nothing but distance vector protocol next we have ospf open source path fast protocol so likewise we have various protocols we will use all those protocols at the root edge so if this link is broken then the routing protocol will comes into the picture so now this router can make decision on its own so let us assume that there is a too much of traffic in this path then the router can make decision on its own why because at each router we have some routing protocol so now the router can uh, can transmit the packet to r3 via r4 and r5 so via in this direction the router can transmit the packet so here the router can make dynamic decisions the router can adapt according to the situation if there is a too much of traffic or if if this link fails then we can say that the topology will change so topology means the graph is changing why because here the link is broken so if there is too much of congestion if there is too much of traffic or if the link fails that is nothing but if the topology changes then the router will adapt to the situation so according to the situation router can make its own decisions so router can transmit the packet in another path now let's see some uh, some uh, important points whether we have covered all these points or not so here uh, the first point is in non adaptive routing algorithm is routing decision is always same so even though there is a traffic or even the link fails the routing decisions are always the same so if there is a problem now we have to take the help of network administrator so network administrator has to enter new routing decisions in the corresponding routing table next that that is also that routing decision is also same okay next here in adaptive routing algorithm routing decision will change as so according to the situation periodically after few milliseconds after every seconds that means if there is a too much of traffic in a path or if the link fails that is if the topology changes according to the situation the routing tables will be updated periodically whereas that won't happen in in uh, non adaptive routing algorithm that is nothing but static routing algorithm and what is the second point constant route here the route is always fixed even though it is a worst route we have to follow that path only why because network administrator has configured like that okay so here we have to follow the constant route even though it is the worst route next no constant route why because if there is a traffic or if the topology changes then the routing tables will be updated periodically we are using routing protocol so they can make their decisions on their own next point preloaded here all the decisions are preloaded in the routing table it is the responsibility of the network administrator so to configure all his all the routing decisions in the routing table so here everything is preloaded whereas here not preloaded according to the situation the routing tables will be updated by the router next do not adapt to the traffic even though there is a lot of traffic in a path or even though a link fails that is even though the topology changes it doesn't adapt to the situation whereas here we can adapt to the situation so this is about introduction or uh, types of routing algorithms